Welcome to the Running Network Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. All right, hi, this is Paul McMullen with the Running Network. Caught up here at the Mid-American Conference Championships, our 5K first and second place runners from the same school. Uh, first, we want to talk to uh, Carrie Summers. How you doing, Carrie? Um, good. Good. How'd that race go? It was really fast. It was yeah. a good course. I liked it. Yeah? All right, you were leading for some of it, uh, getting a little help from your teammate here. And how, how, was, how was it going up in there in the lead? Did you think you may have had a shot? Yeah, I thought about it. He, our coach told us, you know, you guys may have to take it, so you got to do what you got to do. So yeah. if I go, everybody else is going to go. So. Good. Have you guys been close in training and stuff? Yeah, we're always right next to each other. Yeah. So. All right, so that gets us to our winner, Annie Beecham. Way to kick some butt today. Holy cow. Thank you. <laughs> so you're a junior this year, huh? Yeah, I'm a junior. All right. We're both juniors. Both juniors? Yeah. How's your training been going? Um, really good. The best ever, I guess. I so mean, you kind of saw this coming? No, no, I no. never imagined this would happen. Wow. Um, yeah, it's really incredible. I think I'm in shock. You're in shock? Know. Yeah. <laughs> well, know. that's pretty cool. There's a lot of girls that started out there today, and you were the one that came across the, the, the front. Um, at what point during the race did you make a move to, to win? Um, I think it was a little bit after the two mile, or right around two miles. Um, I was just feeling really good, so I thought I might as well just keep going. Yeah. But I. I had no idea we were moving that fast, though. I was really surprised at the finish to see the time. Um, was that a personal best? Oh, yeah, by at least 30 seconds. 30-second yeah. personal best for both of you guys? Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Yeah, you were 5.08 for the first mile. Did you know that? No, I had no idea. You guys are flying. That's a, that's a mile that's a PR, PR also. That's a mile wow. personal best as well? Yes, that would be So, you, So this is what you call running out of your head. I guess so. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You're still in shock. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I need to let it set in, I guess. All right. Not... So taking a look at next week, you got this one out of the way. You guys are heading to regionals. Is that down in Terran Holt? Um, Purdue. Oh, Purdue. Oh, Purdue. Okay. Yeah. All right. That'll be fun. We've never been there before, so. Okay. Do you feel like you're having kind of a crescendo effect towards the season? Have you been getting in better and better shape as it's going on? Yeah. We've been running faster every meet, pretty much. So awesome. hopefully the trend continues. So. <laughs> All right, well, my name is Paul McMullen. This is Annie Beecham. Uh, thank you. All right, and this is Carrie Summer. Thanks. First and second uh, this year at the Mid-American Conference Championships for 5K. Caught up with uh, today's third-place finisher, Rachel Patterson. How are you doing today, Rachel? I'm doing awesome. I'm yeah. doing really great. <laughs> yeah, you're feeling good? I am feeling really awesome. I haven't had this good of a race in a long time, so it feels good to be back. Cool. So you're up there in the front for a little bit. Do you think you might have a shot at winning the thing? Um, honestly, I tried not to like think about if I was going to win. I just tried to focus on keep going, making it hurt more and trying to get up there and if I can stick with them that's awesome um, ultimately I wasn't able to do that but I feel like I ran my heart out so I can't be mad about anything so well, this race everybody's got the same shoes on did that make a difference I think so I mean I think it unifies us as a team <laughs> yeah you what it unifies us as a team I think it unifies you <laughs> right this this is an Adidas shoe yes Yep, and uh, so everybody has the same shoe on? Everyone has Adidas. We love Adidas. <laughs> All right, so the, the course is a little slippery. We had somebody fall today. Who, who wiped out? <laughs> Come on up here. Tell us about the course. We got, we got a wiper outer. Out on the course today, it's a little slick. And uh, what's your name? Kelsey McHugh. Kelsey McHugh. She wiped out. Tell us what happened. I tripped over someone's foot and fell down a concrete hill. So Concrete hill? Yeah, slid a little. It was fun. You got, did you get some road rash? Not really. Kind of tucked and rolled. You know, we practiced for this. Oh, so right. Good deal. All right, let's bring, over, let's bring Rachel back. Rachel, we want to congratulate you on a, on a great race today. And, and could you announce unofficially what are we looking at? Did you guys win? We won. You we guys won. won. We got it. We got it. Very, very cool. Hi, this is Paul McMullen. Caught up with uh, this year's Mid American Conference Championship coach for Miami of Ohio, Miss Rita, Mrs. Rita Molas. How you doing, Rita? I'm good, thank you. Good. I'm excited. How'd you How'd you rally these girls to uh, to bring it uh, just in your first year of coaching? Um, you know, they rallied themselves, but they decided I think on the first day of practice that they wanted a conference championship, and um, they asked how to do it, and I tried to show them even though I don't know what I'm talking about, and they were just stupid enough to believe me, um, so it worked out. Very cool. Uh, what was the deciding uh, athlete today that really kicked butt? You, you know what? It's funny because um, we never went into this championship thinking it would be 
about one person. And I think, um, I haven't seen the official results, but I've heard that we put like nine people in front of some other teams, third or fourth or whatever it was. Um, so it was a collective effort, and I don't think that any one of them would take individual credit, and I, I, wouldn't, I would feel remiss if I gave any one of them individual credit, because it really was a team, team goal. Like Rachel said today, she ran really well. Was that sort of set a precedent for as far as a little bit of team leadership in terms of performances? Yeah, you know, Rachel has been just going to work all season long, and she was a little sick. We went out to race a few weeks ago, and just things weren't quite right. Um, but she learned how to perform even when she wasn't at her best. And, and I think when you learn to do that as an athlete, um, your day comes eventually. And yeah. seriously, it was today. Cool. Young team or a veteran team? Very young team. We graduate one, and I don't think she was in our scoring group today. So we'll be back with some heavy hitters next wow. year. I can't wait to see five foot of fast uh, Rachel Patterson again next year. I know. She's just a pint sized little pip squeak. I know. Uh, oh yeah, real quick, the shoes. I mean, what the heck? Everybody wears the same shoes? Well, come on. I mean, we're special. Um, there, there, are, there are magic Adidas shoes. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. We got magic shoes. Magic shoes. They were magic today. <laughs> yeah. uh, Rita Mollis, the head coach that, that uh, her team today won the Mid-American Conference Championships and uh, we thank her for talking with us. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Paul. Alright, bye-bye. <laughs> The tree and I couldn't see you. Oh, 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 come on, Eddie! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks for watching.